Here we go. What up, YouTube? My name is Riz Ill, and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. And today, we're gonna be doing Leonard Skinner again. I'm back to Leonard Skinner. Um, is it Leonard Skinner? Should I say it? Leonard? Leonard? Because it's not Leonard. Lin Yard Skin Yard. That's how it's spelled. Yeah, I'm back to it, guys. Um, it's been a, it's been a while, and uh, actually. Today and tomorrow, I'm trying to do this thing where, um, in terms of the reactions that I do, I try to branch out and uh, not only to the stuff that uh, I need to continue, but also some new stuff in terms of reactions. Like I want to react to some um, maybe interviews or something or short clips pertaining to different social issues or whatever. I don't know whether it'll work out, but I just have this idea, guys. Because honestly, a lot of my reactions are... Nowadays, I feel uh, oh, it, it is true. It's centered around a lot of like fan bases that are currently really supporting my channel and really supporting uh, the reactions that I do and and whatnot. And they've given their suggestions. They've been loyal. They've you know they've done a lot for my channel and they've done a lot in terms of participation. So I always have to you know consider them and um, what you call attend to them. But I also want to not lose that thing I started this channel with, which was not just like finding my niche or whatever but also learning and uh, seeing and experiencing different different things and new things um so yeah t uh, aside from that uh, i'm gonna do leonard skin it now i might do another jason ld next i'm not sure i still need to check that out uh but today um the leonard skin it i'm doing is uh titled uh free bird i got the lyrics pulled up i got everything like set up and uh, i'm gonna be like reading along and stuff like not reading along but yeah i okay reading like i'm gonna be paying attention exactly to what's being said because i feel like these first time reactions because this is a first time reaction you can get lost you honestly can get lost uh when listening to a song for the first time and maybe you like it and stuff and not hear the lyrics properly maybe see the significance so without further ado um let's get to it
uh, let me cut off and like think about the first part of what was being said over here from what I've uh, coming to understand. Okay, this song is basically about uh, a guy, maybe basically or whatever. Uh, it might even be in reverse, guys. You know, some of these things, you know, even though they're specific to maybe the artist experience uh, as a songwriter myself, um, it can be reversed to uh, some songs which are sort of unisex or fluid or whatever where you can reverse it and then it can be like a woman also like speaking from that perspective or whatever but it's in terms of maybe like going um it's either two things in terms of the song so far which i've i've experienced both things one is like uh you have like the start of something new something very exciting in terms of a relationship maybe you have with someone but you have to leave because there's something in life pulling you towards somewhere because there's some business you have to attend to and if you just give all of that up and stay there for like maybe like the maybe the attraction or the love or the you know the the dreams you're having about this person um that thing that you have to attend to that's very like maybe dire could die out i have experienced that especially like even leaving south africa there was like uh certain someone that i like as soon as i met her i really wanted to um stay and like maybe see where it would go you know i was really i really wanted that person but then like i still had to leave south africa for i we don't need to go into things into like the the things that happened and come back to my own country kenya because there was things i had to attend to you know in terms of life you know and then the second thing in terms of this is maybe like in a relationship like you feel like the the relationship is good or whatever but you have to leave for the betterment of not only yourself but for that partner because if you stay here things will not change and things might like grow bad or die out you know i've been also been in a relationship like that where no matter how good the person is no matter how perfect they seem for maybe the ideals you have or whatever um what you call you feel you feel it in yourself that this is not going anywhere you just don't feel that thing where you 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 know you like it could lead to something you know you're going to be wasting this person's time staying there for idealism more than actually staying there because you're actually in sync with this person soul wise you know and you need to leave broaden your horizons etc and um what you call and it's for the best because you you're not wasting your time and you're not wasting her time and uh vice versa uh so yeah i've experienced both these things guys so when i saw and like i heard the lyrics and everything i was like oh okay like i can immediately relate Sorry for pausing that uh for, for for these like new this this lyrics just came in but yeah exactly like the you know, like the second part that I told you about guys those two things um the second part where he's saying like I'm sorry one two three I'm to blame exactly that that relationship I described where I even told uh, uh the 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 should I say a woman I feel like I'm still young and I feel awkward saying so, like calling like someone else is also young you know we both young and like you know we in relationship we in a relationship whatever a woman even though we adults now uh but um yeah i i told her the same thing i'm like bro like there's not there's absolutely nothing wrong with you like you you there's nothing at all you don't need to change who you are you do your looks whatever there's nothing literally but i'm just not feeling it like guys even in terms of like um the physical stuff <laughs> i'm just i'm not there like you it's obvious you you're there with everything the emotional the spiritual the physical you are really there but me there's like i'm i'm half in everything like i'm just it's not there i'm not i'm not in you know so yeah sometimes you, you really have to leave. you have to be free bird <laughs>
exactly guys i'm sorry for continuously pausing but this this is what's the beauty the beauty about songs uh, like it can really like even when if you people like usually like don't really like to think deeply and uh i'm sorry for pausing so much and going into these rants um but i even noticed even in terms of my friends people would rather like um like like not not judging because I, I i condone weed smoking honestly speaking i don't do it anymore but i condone it it's 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 fine if you do re- do it recreationally and responsibly uh but my friends would rather like smoke weed and like drink and whatever and not really think deeply about life and truly tackle problems and uh what you call like they they don't really want to get take take be taken there unless it's through like music and everything music really helps people who are afraid to think truly open their minds and think because it loosens you up and helps you be free that's the beauty about songwriting and that's the beauty about this song over here in terms of what we're saying it's literally saying i'm free as a bird now and this bird you cannot change now in terms of the things that i've referenced to in both situations it was like i'm free as a bird like i'm gone because honestly you whatever thing we had no matter what it, it, it wouldn't have changed it would have gone nowhere at all no matter how much you dream how much you and i hope people who are in, in the same the same situations uh take this into account because no matter how much you force no matter how much you dream you know a lot of people i know my friends in the same situations uh you can't force something that's not there you know this, this is a great song the tempo was going that way
guys, guys, this song has just finished. If you want to learn, like, okay, in terms of starting as a songwriter, I can't really tell you much as it's more of like a learn as you go away. Like, no one can really teach you how to be a songwriter because art and songwriting and the art of making music it's not like sports or whatever where you can train or whatever and then learn as you go and then you get better in terms of what you're shown you know or in terms of like some like professions like medicine or whatever where you you're told something and then you go as per what you are told until like further developments happen in the future where you have to sort of innovate what you're told right in terms of music and in terms of songwriting you sort of like from the get-go no matter what level you're at you immediately have to innovate the way you do things you immediately have to grow within yourself with the way you do things it's not a thing of you can be told how to write you have to learn as you go and it, and your mind has to be innovative and like it has to evolve by itself basically so I can't tell you about in terms of like um, the beginning of your process if you're a songwriter or your journey. But in terms of the middle, when you get to that point where you start getting a grasp of how to write songs and you start deeply and more awarely studying songwriters, this, I'm saying it right now, Leonard Skinner, Freebird is the per- one of the perfect songs, honestly, to study. I am not kidding because you even see in the end like in the beginning how they started and how they slow it it was sort of like at a a, not like a slow tempo but at a steady tempo when they're literally telling you what the story is about they're setting the tone of the whole thing they're talking they basically even don't have to describe the environments but you can immediately see the environments and the tone in which these sequences of events are taking place and then in the end of the second one did you see how the song sped up without them even having to say anything and they start jamming out? It's so freaking perfect in terms of the situation that they just described. Because in the beginning, they're literally saying this person is leaving and it's going to be a free bird, basically. And it's going to like, it, it, you have to move on from this situation or this relationship or whatever. And then you have to go on your own and be free, basically, and go and experience what life hits you with next. And the way it just transitioned to this fast tempo jamming out session where they just go insane with the instrumentals. Shout out to the guitarist. Shout out to the entire band, the drummer, the way the way they sing together, the way everything just came together. You see that? That is art in fucking motion. That is just... Did you... Like, whoever even, like, makes music, did, like, you have to pay attention to these things. Like, I don't know if anyone who's seeing this is noticing this, but... The way it transitioned where the person doesn't even have to... The lyrics and the instrumental was... The instru, the instruments were together. The instrumentalists were together in the beginning. And by the end, the lyrics don't even have to be there because the instrumentals... The instrumentalists, the, the, the music, the, the ones who are playing... Inst- whatever. It takes over so well that you never have to say a damn thing ever again because... The situation literally turns into a movie and it takes your emotions and everything they've described on a journey to what exactly is being talked about. It's so freaking genius, guys. I, I don't know if you noticed that. Like, literally, it's like, now you're free. You just see, uh, if, if you can see movies in your head in terms of when you, when you listen to music, you literally see everything of what's happening with this character as they are now they're free as a bird now they're experiencing you can see is literally and even as it ends it ends like they've now experienced life after what happened in that relationship and now whether they are dead whatever has happened it's happened they were free they were free and they got to experience the evolution and they got to evolve rapidly miraculously just guys this is beautiful this is beautiful this is one of my definitely one of my top five songs i've reacted to on this channel this is crazy leave your likes and comments uh b- b- below discuss this discuss this tell me what you know about this because i'm still new to Leonard it skin it and uh this has been this has been wonderful this has been truly good stuff so just more below uh subscribe hit the post notifications and i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you take care
Every breathing through all emotions I'm feeling And all the emotions I'm weeping And all the emotions that leave me Believe me, it ain't been easy But falling loosey, deceiving The tribulations within me Been masqueraded as easy, you feel me? Huh, it ain't been easy